let's get started with the next industry presentation by Ms. Suprita Gonzalez, AVP Growth Extra Edge. Can we give Ms. Suprita a big round of applause, please? Uh, good afternoon to one and all. My name is Suprita. I am presently with Extra Edge. And uh, I'll start with a few questions, if that's OK. It's OK? Yes, a bit louder? Yes. Yes? OK. All of you have used uh, uh, Uber. How many have not used Uber? Anybody who is in the room who has not used Uber? Oh, damn, that's a very silly question. Uh, all of us have used, any of us who have used uh, uh, Big Basket? Some of the gentlemen might say my wife does it, but I see good good number of hands. OK, great, fantastic. Uh, Swiggy, how many of us use Swiggy? All of us, absolutely. I have a follow-up question to this. Now you must be wondering why am I asking silly questions. I have a follow-up question. Uh, around 25 years ago, if I had come to you and said, I can have food come home without going to restaurant, what would you have said? I'm talking 25 years ago, so I'm talking uh, 1998. Many of us were there in 1998. I was still very small. But uh, if I had told you, you know, we don't have to go to restaurant to get restaurant food at home, would you have said it was silly? I think the same with, uh, the same with grocery. I think if I had told you grocery would come home without going to the market, <laughs> I I'm sure my mother would have said, you've gone mad today. <laughs> so I think there is a very drastic change in technology that we already know and we are aware of. But why am I talking about it today? I want to bring to your notice a very similar shift amongst the students. I think our primary audience whom we interact with day in and day out are students of the age group between uh, 18, 15 years to about 30 years. These are our audience that we talk to every day. Now, for this student, he belongs to this era where everything comes home. He's, he was born in this era where everything was brought to his feet. And, and this is the kind of audience that we are dealing with day in and day out. Correct? So in order to cater to this kind of a shift, you also require to be thinking like the student, day in and day out, not like we did. I will want to take one last example before I uh, present to you uh, the, the presentation. So. Uh, all of us went to college, studied graduation, post-graduation, PhDs, yes. All of you remember, how did you take the admission? We went to the college, somebody recommended this college is fantastic, go there. We went to the college, we filled a form, we met the principal dean at that point in time. They said, go to this counter, pay the fees. I'm sure we all went, took hard cash in our bags, paid, paid at the counter. All of us did that. Anybody who has not done this process? Great, all of us did that. Now I want to present to you uh, the student of today's era. He is sleeping on his bed at 12.30 in the night. He is browsing Facebook, Insta. He sees an ad of an engineering college. He knows he has to go there after two years. He has started thinking, where do I go? Now he starts seeing ads. He clicks on that. He goes to your website. He reads your website. He then goes to Google. He'll Google about you. Many a times, these students know more about your college than you do, by the way. They will know where, what shops are nearby, which restaurants are there, all of it. So he has probably spent the next one hour browsing or reading about your college or university. Maybe connected with friends also. Tanya says, you know, I would have asked, how is this college? How, how are their reputation? Do they have a basketball court? Are the girls nice? Are the boys nice? They would have asked a few questions. Now, at 1.30 in the night, he goes to your website and says, okay, I like this college, I will want to apply. And probably by 2.30, he would have logged off his laptop, he would have finished the application process. There's a very drastic difference between both processes. And this is where extra edge comes in. So when you're dealing with a student who is of this era, you also need to have tools and technology which support this era. 
My name is Supreeta. I come from uh, 16 years into sales and marketing, uh, also been with technology and pharmaceutical companies. Uh, today I'll be representing Extra Edge, where for the last six years we have been building technology in the admission space. Uh, from the enrollment standpoint, we are today working with over 300 institutions. Uh, we are based out of Pune, and uh, today we have scaled at a very rapid uh, scale globally. We have tied up with universities uh, in US, uh, in, in Dubai, as well as uh, several different types of institutions in India, where we help to automate the complete process. So some of the shifts that I spoke about is where we give you a solution of being able to provide an experience for these students. So let's deep dive and look into what exactly does Extra Edge do. Uh, as I mentioned, some of the challenges that admission teams face today. Uh, your students are very, very uh, short-tempered. They want everything then and there. You look at Swiggy today, right? 20 minutes. And I, I had my nephew telling that 20 minutes, it should come in three minutes. This is how they are. And for them, being able to provide that experience digitally is also very important. Uh, the students also require a lot of reminders because they might be exploring so much of information. So it's important that you're constantly in touch with them. So a lot of admission teams tell us our students don't really receive calls anymore. They have ac gotten accustomed to a chat-based process. They like to chat, WhatsApp. You WhatsApp them, they'll reply you. You call them, they'll not pick your call. So there are a lot of these shifts and trends which we have seen, and these are some of the challenges that exist today. How do we solve these challenges? We solve this by creating a digital experience. Uh, many a time, faculties talk about uh, you know, technology replacing them. I can vouch that that is not something that will happen. Technology will always complement academicians or people at any point in time in any process. So here we are going to create a digital experience for that student along with the human touch. That counselor admission officer is required to be able to counsel the student uh, about his career, and they look forward to it. But before that, they want a good, fantastic digital experience before they come to the college. Effective communication, as I said, there's a lot of information. They want to be nudged every now and then, and this is where automation will play a very major role across the you know, university or college's processes, uh, not just with admission, reminding them about uh, the last date of application, reminding them about when are the eligibility or interviews going to happen in the admission cycle, in the enrollment process. What is the enrollment process itself? How detailed is it? Uh, what are the eligibility criteria? What in entrance exams they have to attend to and so on? Ensuring that every student is called or attended to. This is one of the fundamentals that uh, admission teams today miss out. A student requires attention today. He needs to be uh, given all the you know, answers to his questions. Without that, he is not going to, based on recommendation, come and join. So ensuring that every student is attended to time and again by somebody within the college or university. And having quality expertise or uh, admission officers or faculties being able to engage with the student, answering all their questions uh, becomes very crucial. So what happens when you get this process correctly in the admission or enrollment process? You get 2x of enrollments. I think one of the major challenges that most colleges and universities face today is getting enough enrollments or admissions. The second challenge is getting quality students. I think these are two areas where uh, most uh, you know, uh, admission teams or uh, colleges look out for support. Also ensuring that there are enough chat conversations through automation. This is one of the areas where Extra Edge has supported several universities in automating. Uh, increased conversion ratio. If you have generated 1,000 th inquiries for enrollment, have you catered to all of them? Have you been able to engage with all of them? Uh, so giving a brief about Extra Edge, this is primarily what we have been doing for the last seven years now. We work with institutions uh, where we help institutions to be able to create a complete end-to-end -end digital experience for a student who is coming to enroll within the college or university by providing tools, by providing application form, chatbot for the student to engage with, and uh, 
of late WhatsApp. WhatsApp is one of the most important strategies for you to have in your admission process. If you do not have a WhatsApp enterprise today, uh, for example, I'm sure many of you took flights to come here. How many of you got your boarding pass on WhatsApp? Quite a few of you. So we no longer open a laptop and email to get the boarding pass. And that's what WhatsApp has done. So when your student has applied, are you sending him the receipt on WhatsApp? If not, you should. This is one of the strategies that you should immediately implement in your complete process of communication for the college or university. Uh, so some of the institutions that we have worked with in the last three years, today we are working with over 300 institutions, uh, including Dhanan Sagar University, we have Manchester Metropolitan in the UK and Bich Pilani Dubai, where we do complete automation end-to-end -end for the admission process, as well as the digitizing. Uh, some of the other institutions that we work with today globally, uh, and I would recommend some of you to drop in. We have a stall right outside and explore more about this and understand how we could help you also to digitize the process of application at your college or university. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, ma'am. That was a wonderful session which we just had. Uh, yeah, requesting Ms. Sanya to please present the memento to Ms. Suprita. Can we give both the lovely ladies a big round of applause, please?